A bar of mass m uh, resting on a smooth horizontal plane starts moving due to the force f equals mg by 3 of constant magnitude. In the process of uh, rectilinear, uh, rectilinear motion, um, the angle alpha between the direction of this force and horizontal um, varies as alpha equals some a times s where a is a constant and s is the distance traversed by the bar from its initial position. Um, find the velocity of the bar as a function of the angle alpha. Okay, so I'll just uh, draw a diagram here just to show that this is a block of mass m and there's a constant force actually a constant in magnitude not in direction of a uh, magnitude of uh, mg by 3 and and uh, at an angle of alpha which varies with uh, the distance covered by the by the by the block okay so um, i think uh, a few videos ago i i, I proved uh, the uh, work energy theorem um not formally though um it just uh, it just uh, relates the work done and uh, the kinetic energy so i prove that work done by all forces is the change in kinetic energy so this is this one statement is the work energy theorem so um now uh, we can consider gravity here if we want but um i claim that uh, the the block um, at least uh, till some time it won't it won't uh, jump off right it won't jump off or come uh, just bury down okay so I, I'm kind of neglecting gravity here because there's also a normal force here and there's also gravity so during all the time we are talking about the work done by both of these uh, uh, combined will be zero actually not individually but um, yeah actually individually uh, it will also be zero because the force is like so and uh, the displacement is perpendicular to it so um, uh, the work done is the integral of f dot ds right so if these both are perpendicular um, f and ds then um, the, the dot product of these two vectors will be zero so the work done is zero okay so the, um, I claim that the normal and uh, gravity won't do any work um, till the time we are talking about okay so yeah, um, I proved this uh, theorem in my uh, previous videos. So uh, let's consider that, uh, consider that uh, this has come through an angle of alpha. Um, so I'm considering uh, a teeny weeny little work that this force does. Okay. So and in that teeny weeny, uh, teeny weeny little time, I'm assuming that this alpha, this angle won't change, and that is. Uh, um, good 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 approximation because uh, as long as uh, dt is very small the change in alpha will be very very small okay so then what is the work done by uh, work done by this constant force um, we can assume that uh, it is constant in uh, direction as well as in magnitude as long as the time we are considering is very very small okay so according to this um, this uh, definition it is the integral of f dot ds right so this becomes the integral of f. f is mg by 3 times um, ds. ds is, uh, let's say ds only. Um, I'll write it later though because th this is a dot product. So I'll have to take the component or um, I'll have to multiply the product of these. Uh, 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 I'll write it here. If x vector times uh, dot y vector, if we want this, then this is um, its magnitude is nothing but the magnitude of x times the magnitude of y times the cosine of the angle between them. Okay, I'll I'll write uh, theta just for. Okay, uh, so this is mg by three times uh, the cosine of the angle between them. Ds is in uh, li is like so, and uh, the force is like that. So the angle between them is alpha. So the cosine of that will be cosine of alpha and times ds which I'll keep keep it like that okay now they have given us one more thing that alpha equals as okay so let's use that uh, uh, the, the thing that they have given uh, there okay uh, so mg by 3 is a constant right so I can just pull it out and this becomes 
the integral of cosine of now uh, they said that uh, where it is there it is they said that uh, alpha is as okay so I'll just substitute that as that looks like a word it's different okay times ds and now um, s will vary from let's say 0 to some value s um, I'm taking from the initial point to some general value s so uh, dw will be mg by 3 times um, the integral of cosine is sine so we will we will have a sine here and we will uh, we will have a sine of as uh, as as but uh, we will have to divide by a because when we differentiate this upper expression we'll get a uh, uh, a in the product so this will you know uh, cancel out that and uh, it'll, uh, it'll work out you can test it you can differentiate this expression you will get cosine of as okay and now we have to put the limits and limits are 0 to s okay so dw is equal to mg by 3 times sine of as is just uh, just equal to sine of alpha right that's what they gave sine of alpha and I'll write the a here and let me go, go from 0 to s um, I, actually I'll, I'll keep it I'll keep the the alpha as a s sine of a s it always seems that I'm writing as it's not as Okay, so this is equal to mg by 3a times putting s uh, we get the same thing and putting 0 we get sine of 0 which is 0 so it is sine of as I'll write it like that minus sine of 0 oops not theta sine of 0 which uh, luckily is 0 so dw is equal to mg sine as by 3a or this is just equal to mg sine of alpha mg sine of alpha sine of alpha divided by 3a so this is the work done we are not done yet this is just the work done this is this is work done by all forces and now we use this that it is also equal to the change in kinetic energy so dw must be equal to half mv square F and B square. Okay. So this becomes that DW we know is mg sine alpha um, divided by 3a. That should be equal to one half mv square. So I lose my m. Right. Um, if you simplify and solve for v then you get that v is equal to the square root of uh, let's see 2g sin alpha divided by 3a 2g sin of alpha divided by 3a my handwriting is very 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 bad there we go we have just found um, velocity of the bar as a function of the angle between them that's what they asked for here um, find the velocity of the bar as a function of the angle alpha okay this was one of the more uh, interesting problems um, I actually quite liked it because this involved calculus which is one of my favorite subjects and also a bit of um, uh, laws of motion um, also a bit of uh, work energy 
um, I also like that so yeah um, I also hope uh, that uh, you also liked it so I'll see you in the next video